da 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 So now I am going to talk about a game for Pride Month. I'm going to talk about Gone Home. So last week I played Tacoma. And Tacoma was developed by a game studio called Fulbright with some help some support by other studios, uh, Campo Santos and EA Santa Monica. But I really, really love this game. And this game is advertised as a horror game or kind of a dark suspense game. But this is also a game that celebrates pride and pride culture. How does it do that? Well, let's find out. So, uh, yeah, we're going to play this game. I'm super excited. Um, I, t I explained a little bit about the history of this game. Uh, and actually, this game did come before Tacoma. And, and did I like Tacoma? No, it's okay. It's an all right game. Yeah, it's okay. But this game, Gone Home holds a special place in my heart. Special place in my heart. So what kind of a game is this? Well, it is a, it is a simulation. You, you walk around this, this world, okay? And you have to pick up clues, information as you go through to kind of piece together a story. What kind of a story is it? Well, if you look at this picture, it's very dark. Maybe, maybe it's a scary story. Maybe it's dark suspense. I don't know. But it does have a very clear, very obvious connection to pride and pride culture. And the music on this game is amazing. So something to be aware of this game, something to be aware of is the music and the sound effects in this game are really, really great, and they are really important to the story. Unfortunately, uh, in order for me to stream this game and to make this video available, I can't play any music from the game. No music is allowed from this game uh, because of uh, copyright issues, copyright concerns. But... I highly, highly, highly recommend you play this game and you play with the music on because, like I said, um, there are parts where the music affects the mood, but it also is a part of the story. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start playing the game. I got the Fall Bright Company, the same company that made uh, uh, Tacoma. This game is so great. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Um, something else you should know is I'm not going to play this game all the way through it is a short game 1995 oh june 17th so this month it was this week 1995 okay so 25 years ago wow 25 years ago so what happened 25 years ago what happened 25 years ago um so you are this person who's come back from a trip come back from the airport there's your bag. Um, Kate Greenbri Caitlin Greenbrier from Portland. This is Portland. Oh my gosh. So I've got family in Portland. This game, this is a little bit dark. I don't know. Can you see this okay? It is a little bit dark. What's happening outside here? Can you go out? Uh, you can't go out. It's raining. It's raining. You, you can hear the rain. Huh? 
So there's uh, the eternal lamp. Oh, okay, get some light. Okay. And uh, there's a duck. Christmas duck. Okay, I just threw the Christmas duck. There's a cup. A rotate, let's share, examine. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm gonna put it back. Okay. What am I looking at here? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's a key. House key is added to your inventory. Press one or I to check the contents of your backpack. Okay, my, my uh, ID, my passport. My boarding pass, my passport, my boarding pass. The key, oh, I can hear the rain. The rain is so loud. <sighs> crazy, crazy. There's a journal, there's a map. This is a front porch. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. All right, I guess, uh, oh, there's a note on the door. Um, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but, uh, but it is, Katie, Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam? Oh my gosh. What is happening here? Who is Sam? I'm going to open the door. Okay. <gasps> what happened? Like I said, just a reminder, you are walking around and exploring this house and uh, trying to find out what happened. Okay, we're, we're just gonna, we gotta turn on all the lights. All the lights, what's the door? Open the door. Ah, turn on the light. Okay, oh, what's happening? Uh, front hall. Good fellow high school. Um, senior kind uh, forestry service, Janice Greenbrier. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, so there's a lot of moving boxes. Um, we just arrived here. Directions to work from new house. So you are in a new house. Hmm. Travel time an hour and 10 minutes. Ew. Okay. Oh, scary thunder, scary lightning. What's going on here? Run hall boxes. Read the invoice. Wellspring movers, boxes, kitchen, kitchen, television, 24 inch TV, 14 inch TV. Uh, not very big TVs. Oh, that's right. Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Okay, so they moved into this new house while you were away. So, very typical. You know what? That happened to me, too. I'm not lying. This happened to me, too. It's sort of crazy. I uh, I went to college, and while I was in college, my family moved to another state. Yeah, that's right. And that's what happened to this family. Uh, so there's water. There's toilet. I just flashed the toilet. What's this? Magazine, author magazine. 50 contests with up to whatever. Get published. The secret. Oh, okay. Uh, bath towels. Toilet paper. 
Ah, here we go. More lights. We need more lights. But nothing... Nothing is too bad. It's really spooky in here. It's really spooky. So let's go over here. Oh, what's this? Here's a light. Okay. And what's this? Here's a family. Um, Sam is here. Katie. Mom and Dad. And then is this uh, 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 Jan and Terry. But Jan and Ter Ter Terry is just written down. Okay. Wow. Grab a mark. Oh, no! Grab the door. Okay. Oh. Um, itinerary. Uh, oh, Kitty's departure. July of 94. Flight to Amsterdam. So she started Amsterdam. Okay. So close the door. Open this door. Open this. Ooh. Secret doors. So lots of secret. Well, not secret doors. I mean, this is just a, a door door. Um, light, okay. Lamp. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Uh, okay. That's not very nice. Okay, so... Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. What? Spooky, spooky, spooky. Where is the family? What happened to the family? And who, why is Sam, wait, is that Sam? <gasps> oh, what's going on here? Ah, uh, turn on, ah, okay. Oh. Okay, M for them. Okay, so I'm okay. For your front porch, I'm now in the side, side. This is a huge house. This is a warning. So, we used to get these all the time when I was younger. Uh, we didn't have cable. Well, I guess we had cable TV. I guess we did. Um, Yeah, so like when there was uh, weather warnings or something like that with this, they'd interrupt the the TV and 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 play like this. So there's uh, pizza. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, there's coffee. What's happening? What's this? Oh, this is a letter. Hi, Terry. In clo close, please find a kind. 
Pioneer something little with remote cable. We need a half page review for the October issue. So that gives you about two weeks to get us to copy for edits, then our stuff like you gave us on this. Uh, it's a comp player, so check out CD playback with a few discs as well as later. In the, and they want us to definitely hit the signal and the noise ratio and the toss link stuff for high end buyers. Uh, looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit. Oh, so this guy's a. So, so the dad, Terry, is a, is a magazine writer. This is for candles. Candles, what's happening? So there's no power. What's going on? Ah, uh, spooky, spooky, spooky. Ah, uh, turn on the lights. Oh, God, turn on the lights. This is so spooky. Girl Scout role model. So let's put it. In here. Because it's music. So I had to mute it before the music got too much, and I may have to edit, I may have to clip the music. Because you're not allowed to hear the music. And it's cool music, man. It's really cool. I love it. Okay. A book that Dad wrote, The Accidental Savior. Uh, September 1963, John Russell knows that the president's life uh, hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? So Dad wrote a book, but he also writes for magazines. And drama to strain. Oh, conspiracy stuff. Making friends, even when Sam, when you, when you, something, Sam thought this might help. Dad, feeling lover, lo lonely, it's a piece of cake. Never worry about having friends and spend time with this book. will teach you to make friends, even when you're shy. Uh, you so know that feeling hmm. where at the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Okay, cool, cool kid, okay. Big gold star, okay, what's this? Oh, so the VCR is missing. The VCR is missing. Why is the VCR missing? What is happening? A uh, door, secret, secret room? Oh, no, not a secret room, it's a closet. Uh, the Heaven at the Edge of the Wood by Samantha Greenbrier, Grade 2, Story of the Turtle People. Captain Allegra looked at the ocean and went on forever, so it seemed someday she'd find the edge and get to the paradise there. Cannonfire, first mate, looks like you thought too soon. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, You're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise, and your father is a liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now, well, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so, so Sam is also Sam is also a storybook writer, just like her dad. That's cool. Um, how do I? Can I? Can I? Oh, I can crouch. 
Look at me. I can crouch. What's this? What's this? It's a, a fort. A fort. A haunted book. Ooh. Poltergeist and hauntings. Is there? Is this a haunted house? Is this a haunted house? Is that what this is? I'm so scared. I'm very scared. Find out the truth behind stories that were familiar even to our pagan ancestors. Discover how to tell a hoax from a genuine haunting. So this is learning how to tell a book. What's this? Soda. Okay, Dr. Jitters. Okay. So this is a pillow fort. Uh, but oh, this is so scary. Oh, so scary. Ooh. Oh, is that a ghost? Are you, hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Maybe if you get this and right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Smith and yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either. And so I thought maybe I'd ask you something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes, no, no, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho or does it run in the family? Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, was it just your uncle that ran psycho? And psycho? So so there's a, a crazy uncle, huh? I'm in Paris. Hi, Mom, Dad. I'm in Paris. I've done the prison thing, including eating Le Petit Delita and wearing a beret. I'm going to have a lot of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company. Uh, since you're my favorite sister, you love her. Okay, that's cute. Um, let's open this book. Oop. Huh? Uh, there's a deck of cards, and then there's obituary. An obituary? What's going on here with this obituary? Oscar Mas Masson, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attended the Green Pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County, quickly became a well loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier, as well as in spirit the people of Boone County to whom he provided wellness and comfort. Oh, there's a photo army uniform with pink hair. Um, and let's crouch down. What is up here? Anything here? Okay. Oh! Secret door? Secret door? Secret stuff? No. Okay. Uh, spooky, spooky room. Uh, oh, another closet. Lights. Turning on all the lights, dude. Read the note. Uh, welcome, Nusu. Hope you're excited about your first day at a high school. Please bring your following with you. Sturdy folder. Blah, blah, blah. Please remember to get plenty of sleep tonight before. Be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. Happens to so, Betsy. It's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. They just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. So it's the psycho house. It's a psycho house, so. Ah, uh, dark room. What is this? Turn on the light. Oh, okay, turn on the lights. What is this? Psycho house and psycho room. Boone County. Open the door. Hold on. Uh, what's this? Exam form? Oh. 
from insurance. The wiring in the house is up to safety. However, multi-layer layer has been added into the structure over the last hundred years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink for no reason. After discussion with Mr. Green Buyer, since there are no current safety concerns, these issues will not be addressed. Okay. So I guess it would so they'd have to be redoing the whole power. So the flickering of the lights and stuff is not ghosts, it's just the, the old electrical system. Which by the way, I don't believe. I don't believe it. I think it's ghosts. It's totally ghosts. It's ghosts. Benjamin Almond, the killing of JFK. You've seen the movie, Discover the Truth. Uh, superb speculation, actually, trauma, an important look at uh, the, uh, the assassination of JFK. Uh, spooky, spooky. Oh. Okay. Turn on that. Oh, now I can see this. You can do better. Back to it out. Why, uh, if I went JFK? Wasn't what if JFK wasn't JFK? Um, Utopia. Um, whatever. Da, 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 da. So he's writing. Oh, this is where he writes, and this is okay. So this is what I. This is a typewriter, but this is also a word processor, and this is what I used to use for school. This is crazy. So let's examine the book. Pioneer C and da, 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 MSRP a thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, remote with backlight, double sided play, head out, phone out. But uh, they said that uh, instead of jack of all trades, is a master of none. I have to disagree. A master is not a question of specialism, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you're not reading the market for a combination of an LD CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular. Yeah, actually, that's really bad. That is actually pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. He, yeah, he can do better. <laughs> oh, okay. Huh? Is there a note? Is there a message here? No, no, no. Three ring binder? Oh, it's just, it's just a... What's this? August 1972? August 1972 to Terence Greenbrier. So this would be, let's say 1995. So this would be 23 years before. Hello, Terence. I wrote out what I hope and imagine must be a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I've had more than a little time during my long days and nights at the house in Arbor Hill to consider my past and my family. My thoughts often lingered on your development and welfare in the 10 years since we last met. 10 years since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. I wish you and your new bride many happier together. You're always welcome on Arbor Hill at the Royal Winter Stand, of course, if you feel you cannot accept this invitation. Yours very sincerely, Oscar Mason. It's his uncle. Uh, wow. So there was... Something happened. Something happened, and he wouldn't uh, communicate. It was, it was 10 years since he would talk to his uncle. Spooky room. Turn on a light. Ah! Spooky, spooky room. What's this? That second book, The Accidental Pariah. A message from our future saved the president's life. Well, within another time, next, next 25, there will be another attempt and the lines of communication are downed. Oh, no. What's going on? That wrote two books. Okay, please turn on a lamp. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. What's this? Examine magazine. True stories. I was a teenage drag queen. Readers tell us about their worst memories. Not a teen. No one. Oh, it doesn't mean it's, it's okay. The male gear. Case. Oh, okay. This is like teen magazine. Okay, that's cool. Uh, coaster. Okay, these are very typical. Um, and what's this? 
Hold on, what's this? Can I get this? Read note? Uh, Axit, Daniel, Parai, Villain, Ambassador, Messiah, Occasional, Super, uh, uh, Unreliable, okay. So he's trying out titles. Titles for his book. And here is, uh, here's this, what's this? A Stranger Under My Roof? Advice for parents of teens. The teen years. Oh, man. This is like a typical family having a real hard time. Read the letter? No, oh, hold on. What's going on here? 0451. Oh! Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it didn't work. Okay, never mind. It didn't work. It didn't work. Okay. Okay. So, we know what the combination is. I knew it. I knew it. I played too many video games, but I need to hold on. We need to, we need, we need to read this. Um, Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to read out the tangents and non sequiturs from usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of a home theater aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. I, I, wish, I wish this was true today. I, I get the opposite advice. I get the opposite advice. Hey, can you write, you know, a thousand words? You only, you know, what you need to write is only like 350 words, but can you like, you know, talk about your childhood. Talk about American history and how it relates to the CD player. I always get that. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Anyway, so times have changed. David's known you for a long time and he's the boss. So I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kurtwood, Reviews Editor, Home Theater Aficionado. Yeah, well, yeah, there you go. I'm a fan of Brent. 0451. I am a fan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a fan of Brent. I, he's right. Zero four five one zero four five one zero four five one. Secret files. I knew it. Hold on. What's this? What's this? What's this? John Russell opened his eyes and saw them stars twinkling as laying on the grass. He now he blinked. Uh, looking through the carbon roof for a safety glass at the space station. Um, no, he blinked the sleep from his eyes looking through the carbon roof for a safety glass at the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. Uh, he said he spoke drunk despite not having a touch of drop in years. He vomited onto his feet. His bare feet stared from him, processing sick Flecked toenails, the fabric and strain of the seams that contain her generous bosom was a blend of the phrase matter transference operator. Then he passed out. John Russell had crossed the gap in time. Only messages that seemed to get out of the galaxy. Wow, this is terrible. This is really awful. What's this? Keep a look on wise attorneys. Dear Mr. Mason, please don't finally close your original document and type copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Attorneys at law. Will and testament. Okay. Um, I declare a lawful resident. I have no outstanding debts. I do hereby to create every item of value. Um, uh, uh, to Terrence Greenbrier. In the event that uh, ter uh, should predecease me, that on such time they shall go to the same to his children. I possess, declare that I left my resident and married. I declare that no, 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 no. I bequeath everything to. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. What's this? Okay. 
Is there anything here? No. Is there anything here? No, 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 no. Okay. So, the dad, who's a writer, but he also does reviews for magazines, but apparently he's been kind of he's been getting sloppy. He's been getting sloppy. Oh, uh, whiskey. Oh, there's whiskey. Yeah. Um, you know, there is this, this, huh, this room. No, that's done. That's done. Okay, we're good. So we, okay. So there's nothing, there's no ghosts. There's no ghosts. Um, so I'm gonna keep going. There's more to this story. So I'm gonna keep going down. Okay, we went to this room. Okay. So I'm gonna go down. Oh my god, there's gonna be ghosts. To this room. Eraser? Pamphlet? Uh, U.S. Forestry Service? Uh, okay. Okay, so the dad's a writer, but he also, you know, pays the bills by writing for magazines, but apparently he's getting sloppy. The mom works for the Forestry Service. The oldest sister uh, spent a year traveling abroad, and the younger sister uh, is a high school student. It's kind of a, a nerd. She's a video game geek. That's cool. And the whole family just moved to this house because the father's uncle willed it to him when he died. So now we know. Now we know, I think. But it's also called the Psycho House. Ooh. Um, we're going to do this room. Oh, turning on all the lights. Seriously, all the lights. We're going to do this room, and then we're going to stop because, you know, ghosts and also time. Uh, lights, 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 lights. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of records here. That's cool. Um, what's this? Read the letter. Please, Samantha, please give this to your mother. Uh, Janice, thank you for having Danny over to you. Know, he's, he has missed having his friend Samantha. Danny asked if he could lend uh, his, uh, and I gave him my permission. He needs to spend less time with those things anyway. No hurry on returning it. Then Samantha knows she's welcome back to her house to visit. So, Danny. Okay. And what's this? When you Corrupt. live in one place your whole life, oh. your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Danny only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Ew. Oh yeah, this is more books. More books that didn't get sold. It looks like they didn't get sold. So many records. Look at all these records. So there's the other room that was the library. And then check out this room that is all records. That's cool, man. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is groovy. Check this out. All records. Oh, that's awesome. Turn the lamp on. Textbook. World history. Older. Oh, what's this? Read the assignment. Reproductive system. Uh, directions. Blue are two stories. Events are all out of order. Begin. The menstrual cycle. Uh, okay, the menstrual cycle. She chose the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle. A novella. The early morning of September 1st, 1939. Essa Glott stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Wailen in Poland. As the train rumbles along the center of the corridor, she can only think of her dear Boislav, the boy she's engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. As this train approaches its destination, her heart races. The lining of the universe is getting thick and soft. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Um, <laughs> this is, what about a great... Samantha's a great writer. She's a great writer. This is awesome. 
What says play the record? So I gotta mute this because I can't um, play the music. Great music, but you can't hear her. Um, so I stopped the music. <laughs> I really want to play the music. I really want to play the music. I, I recommend you play the music. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, I cannot because I don't have the rights. If I wasn't streaming this game, I would just play the music. But since I'm streaming this game and I have to edit out the music, uh, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, what's this? Wow. There's soda, okay. Uh, vodka. There is a lot of alcohol. There's a lot of alcohol here. What's this? Uh, from the desk of Donald Fripp's publisher, Mercury Books, 1976. 1976. To Mr. Terrence Greenbar, I want to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up. Despite the low sales of Action on Savior, we went ahead with publication of the second books and hope the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It's been a pleasure working with you as a publisher, and we wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavors. So, so he was writing... Early in the his marriage, um, and also around the time that uh, his uncle wrote to him, there's a lot of booze. There's a lot of booze here. Uh, but it stopped, and now we are in 1995. So here's what I guess happened: he was a writer. But he was a failed writer. And based on his pub publishing a couple books, he got work as a magazine writer. Um, but lately, he's been slipping. Lately, he's been slipping. Um, and there's... Yeah. And now, his uncle left him this house... And I'm going to, I'm going to go along here. Ooh. Ah. Um, Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. So, the fam is gone. And definitely, the sister is gone. Read the note. Hi, Lonnie. So you wanted me to come over my house. So you wanted to come over my house this afternoon. That would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can. Um. But I can drive you home too. So hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this out in my locker if you still want, and we can meet in the parking lot after sixth. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. You know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. Ah. Uh. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow.
Okay, so the cool kid and kind of the bad, the bad kid. But she's making friends. Katie, please, when, uh, whatever you found, whatever you found, don't tell mom the attic. Something the attic? Oh, it's locked. Okay. Spooky house, but now we're in the psycho house. So this is where we are on the first floor. In the basement, what? The basement is locked? Anyway, this is a good place to stop. Uh, thank you guys for, uh, for hanging with me and um, yeah, gone home. Gone home. Yeah, I'm not gonna finish it this stream. I'm probably gonna finish privately because I love this game so much. It's such a great game. I really, really encourage you to play this game. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me let me move to uh, the, uh, the my, uh, my big screen. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, guys. Yeah, that's it for uh, June. Happy Juneteenth. Huh? Happy Pride Month. Soul Music Month. Soul Food Month. And uh, see you next time when we talk about uh, something different. Bye.